No. Oh. Let me tell this. Hey, Trey. Hi. Ah, nothing much. What's happening? Get this all set up. I'm going to just wipe my camera off real quick. There we go. It's a little okay. fuzzy, isn't it? Hi. Oh, there we go. Hello in the UK. Oh, it looks like my mom is on. Hi. Hi, mom. Just drinking my detox water here. Oh God, I can't wait to see your new lipstick. Hi, oh, hi Gracie. Yeah, I'm in the new fall catalog for Unique. Um, I'm not on the cover of the US one, I'm on the cover of the US Spanish, uh, Mexico, and um, I guess European, which I, the Germany one, and um, I haven't seen the UK one yet, but I'm assuming that is involved in the European catalog, so. Oh. Oh good, I'm glad you guys like them. I try to do them every day, but it doesn't always work out. Um, again, as usual, I feel like I always have crazy freaking hair on these things. Um, it's so humid in Myrtle Beach and I have kind of naturally wavy, coarse hair, so it's all just nutty. I'm gonna be fixing my hair, but after I finish my makeup. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so I have this eye done, as you can see, just one coat of the 3D Plus, and then I used uh, Palette 3, um, Addiction Palette 3, to create this look. And I don't want to get too close because it's scary. <laughs> but there you go. It's kind of a purple, smoky eye. Um, every eyeshadow portion of this is uh, unique. I also used um, a precision pencil from Unique, but then my top liner is uh, my MAC Fluid Line Gel, which you could just use the pencil if you would like. Um, on my lips, I'm wearing the Pouty Lip Liner and Upscale Lipstick. It's actually one of my favorites now. Get back here so you can see. It's pretty. I really like it. I love uh, nude lips. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to, I've got a little, another thing I like to keep handy, especially if you don't have a lot of brushes, um, you're really going to need to clean them because if you use, you know, your brush for a light color and a dark color and so in between, ooh, ooh, I'm going to, hold on, i got to block this person. There we go. Bye, Felicia. Okay, so I'm just going to wipe make sure this is clean. I don't, I don't like getting my colors mixed up because then you end up just looking really muddy. All right, so I'm gonna take Tickled. This is one that you'll always see me put this in my crease. I just, I love it. I think it's a really nice blending color. It adds some warmth to the cooler tones. Okay, so I'm gonna start. My contacts are a little bit dry, so if I blink a lot, that's why. <laughs> And if you ask a question and I miss it, I'm not ignoring you. It's just that I don't see it if I because I'm looking in a mirror right now. So um, just ask again um, at the end if, if I don't get to it while I'm doing this. So just slightly in the crease. I'm trying to see if that might be better. Is this better lighting this way or this way? Ooh, I think this way, but I'll turn my light back on if you guys need me to. Okay, so I've done that in the crease. Now, what did I do next? Okay, we are going to go ahead and go straight to the dark, off, cool. All right, um, Cheeky, this is a really shimmery purple color. And I really like this one. Just dab off the excess. It's better to just keep applying than to get too much and then to like blend it all over the place and then you have a hot mess. So we're just gonna Dab that on. And these colors, especially this one, is pretty concentrated. So a little is gonna go a long way. Just 
So um, if you're new to Periscope, just a, a couple of things. If you like this video and you like what you're seeing, please show me some love. Oh, welcome, welcome. Um, by tapping the screen, that gives me those cute little hearts that pop up and it just tells me that you like what you're seeing. Also, if you wanna share it with other people, you just swipe the screen and you can pick people to share it with. So I appreciate that. And if you don't, I'm assuming most of you uh, know me, uh, and that's why you're watching. But if you don't, uh, my name is Stephanie Zelligman. Um, I go by Steffi Z. Um, and I am a, a makeup artist, I'm a singer, and a uh, unique presenter, or consultant, if you will. And I do makeup tutorials. Um, almost every day. Okay, so we have my lid done here, and I'm taking it all the way up to the crease and just kind of softening that edge by blending, okay? Oh. Light pressure. I find that a lot of um, application is really about the pressure that your hand is using. You can use one color and make it look two different ways based on the pressure of your hand. So if you push harder, the color will obviously be darker. Push lighter and you're gonna have a lighter, softer look. So it all just depends on what you're going for. So now <clears throat> I'm gonna take a this little small brush, uh, a crease brush would work with this, anything to just get in the corner. I'm gonna take flippant. I don't even know what that word means. I feel like they might have made that up. Yes, yeah, I have a few, a few tattoos. Considering another, sorry mom. Hi babe. Okay. <laughs> My husband is in the other room watching this periscope. I'm just putting this kind of on this inner corner and up in the Are you coming out to say hi? Oh, he's going to pick up our furry children. Sorry, I'll try not, I, I keep looking up and then you guys are looking right at my nostrils. I apologize. I'll try to look down. Okay, so I've just added, it's really subtle. Um, just so it goes a little bit um, from lighter to a darker color there. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> are you laughing at me? Huh? Are you laughing at me over there? I'm off now. I have, I have to go and pick up the pups. There he is. All right, so now for the black, I'm gonna go really, bye, you look handsome. Settle with this black, it's called Irate. Using a crease brush. And we're gonna make a little C or a little V, whichever you prefer. Just gonna take it out here. Oh, thank you. This is one that maybe looks intricate and complicated, but it's actually really easy. So I try to show you guys things that you can do on a daily basis. So. I'm gonna just blend that in because I don't I don't really want that black to be very obvious. Just kind of want to darken it up and give it a little bit of depth. Now, if you if you want to keep the color in one particular spot, this is excellent for hazel eyes. That's why I always I do purple so much. Um, 
if you don't want to spread this color, like I don't want to have this one all the way over here. So you just do little circles or move really tiny, just within this spot. Bye, honey. Bye, baby. Wherever you want it to stay, don't go like this or it will go everywhere. So it just darkened it just slightly. It almost made it a little bit gray rather than black. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back and take that tickled color again that I had in my crease and just blend it again, uh, except just slightly above. Um, when I post a picture later, oh, you want an Amy Winehouse makeup? <laughs> Um, I really like um, taking a, a cool color and fading it up, almost like a sunset, fading it up. That's why, to a warmer color, uh, I just personally like that. And so you'll notice with most makeups that I do, I really like that. I really like bringing the cool and the, the warm shades together. And I, I love a, a nice fade. So that blends in um, so well. And you just can't tell where you know where the the shadow ends and that's really what what blending is all about <clears throat> you don't want to be able to say oh well I you know see where each color starts speaking of which that got blended really well right there um, so we're good okay now I'm gonna take uh, this perfect eyeliner it's a black eyeliner pencil I like unique ones not just because I sell it um, I don't share with you guys anything that I don't actually use and like myself so you can trust that I'm not gonna tell you about anything that I wouldn't wear myself I love these um, I have these are great um, for entertainers I've got a few male entertainers that use these on stage because they sweat a lot because these are waterproof and they're smudge proof they're perfect for using in your water line so um that's why i go with these oh you want to do a sing i'll do a singing periscope soon <laughs> so i'm putting this just in my water line I know this can kind of uh, freak you out when you get started, um, but it's not that bad. You get used to it. I'm gonna curl my lashes. You don't have to do this. I do, because my, my lashes, I have uh, decent lashes in, in thickness and length, but they, they grow up this way. They don't flip up on their own. I find that guys always are blessed with the nicest lashes and they don't even need them. It's so unfair. My husband has great eyelashes and I have a little cousin. My little cousin Camden has amazing eyelashes. They look like fake eyelashes. So what I just did was uh, filled in my waterline up on the top too. That wasn't from the eyeliner. It's just my, my contacts are kind of dry from my allergies. I right? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to take... Uh, this is a liner shader brush from Unique. This is a really nice one to have because it's a two-in-one. And I like that. Just you know, makes it a lot easier. Especially when you're traveling or something and you don't want to carry a lot of things. I'm going to take this ecstatic color which is, I, this is pewter to me, um, which is like a gray, a gray and khaki mixed together, makes what I call pewter. I don't know if anybody else calls it that. Um, I'm putting this on my bottom lash line um, underneath. This is adding uh, some depth to my eyes right here helps to um, make them look a little bit larger since I'm kind of taking away some of the space by putting uh, black in my waterline. I could make my eyes look larger, more doe-eyed if I used a white in my waterline, but I chose a black. So I really like to kind of define down, down here. 
and go lower than than what you think it's really hard to put eyeshadow down here because you're like eh, it's not supposed to go there um and i love this for doing that because it sort of blends as you go rather than placing it and then trying to gently blend uh, if you just apply softly you know and if you do need to go back you got a handy dandy little brush on the end i think the, my right eye has a little bit more right here so i'm just gonna make that even so and uh you can't see it as well on this video when i take a picture later you can probably see it but it this is also a really nice contrast be careful when you do if you do purple underneath your eyes because you don't want to look like you have two black eyes you feel me Alrighty, so now, ooh, poop. My, all my brushes are a mess. All right, so now I'm gonna go to my liner. I think I I did a gel liner for you guys on Saturday. Oh, on Saturday night. Um, so I'm just gonna coat my brush, and I'm using a, a thicker one. I just find it's it's quicker and, and easier. Don't push too hard though. Or you'll get eyeliner everywhere. I'm just taking it in here. See, I'm using, now I have the brush facing this way, so it's a little bit thinner. And when I was doing my line up top, yeah, I had it turned so it would be a little bit thicker for me. So just work those brushes. Take this down. All right, it's like really quiet right now. But I don't wanna mess it up. So I have this top done, so now I'm just gonna go for my flick. And as I said before, now look, see I have already a line right here where I stopped my eyeshadow. I'm just gonna follow that line. I gave myself a little indication of where my line should go so that it's even and then I'm going to just connect right here so I'm doing a thicker more dramatic kind of cat eye for this one I'm just making sure there yep there we go Okay, I'm actually going to exit out of this Periscope and start a new one because I, I need an updated uh, mascara application. So, um, bye for now and I will be, thank you. I will be back in literally two seconds with a mascara tutorial. Okay, bye.